Welcome to Chaos BI. Have you ever wanted to turn a report that looks something like this into something that looks like this? Today, I'm gonna to show you how you take your first steps down that path and that involves creating a custom background. Let's get to it. Ah. We've got our ugly looking report. We want to transform it. We are going to start with at finding our background. If we're going to create a custom dark theme background, we want a good palette to be able to work from. This palette needs to have some bright colors in it. We want it to have a good solid place for us to be able to work in where we don't have a lot of noise in the background. We're gonna go out and we're gonna find an image that we can use for that background. I like to use Pixels. They're an incredible website for free, high resolution images. I'm gonna look for one that's got an area that I can work in or customize in order to deliver this custom background. Images like this may look very cool, but the challenge that you're gonna have with an image along these lines is that there's a lot of noise in here. So it's gonna be very hard for you to create a space where people can work on and see. Ah, here, this one I like. I'm gonna explain why I like this one. So inside of this image, I've got a lot of colors that are bright, that really pop out to me. I've got purples, I've got blues, I've got some oranges, I've got some whites, and I've got some grays, and I've got this cool solid black background. But you're saying, hey, Chris, this is all really noisy. How am I going to take advantage of that? Aha, uh -huh. I'm gonna show it to you. So we're gonna download this. Thanks, Mohan Ready. Open up a PowerPoint. And we're going to, inside our PowerPoint, we're gonna to go to design, slide size, and we're gonna choose custom slide size. Portrait for our slides, okay? Yeah, and I wanna maximize the size, so I, now I have my, my slide background set, and I'm going to go and I'm going to add in that image. Boom. What I'm going to do with this, once I've got this in place, and I wanna always work off this slide. I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna take this image, and I'm going to go into picture format, and I'm gonna to choose to crop the image. I'm gonna be creating a background that basically slices this, does something along these lines, right? And I'm gonna use that as my header, and then my footer here, so I've got that cool reflection in the place, but then I'm gonna use this black background as the palette that I'm gonna have. Go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna slice this right to the middle and then I'm gonna bring this down so that looks good. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it up on the top and I'm gonna copy paste it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on crop again, right? And now all I'm going to do is I'm gonna rotate my picture up till I can see that, so I have the exact same size, top and bottom in place. Now I want the background to be the same color as this. So in order to do that, I'm gonna set the background. I'm gonna grab the eyedropper. My eyedropper is gonna be my friend. Select a color in the background. And now I have I've got a slide that has a nice look and feel to it. It's all natural. I've got a mountain top at the top. And as I go down, I've got the visual there. Once I've got these in place, I'm gonna to continue to use this as my background and my palette. Anything that I have, I wanna make sure I, I, I leverage this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this slide. Now I'm gonna take a block. And what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to create a natural color palette based upon the colors that I find inside of this image. That ensures that any color I choose will naturally go with the other colors that are inside of my report. So I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna uh, select my square. I'm gonna grab my eyedropper and I'm gonna try to find a color that I really like. That Like this is a nice dark, Dark, bold purple. So I've got my purple. I want another blue. I'm going to use my eyedropper. And I'm going to continue to repeat this pattern until I've got a handful of colors. I want to make sure I've got some darker colors and some brighter colors and some gray. I've created that right here. I've got my, my light purple, a dark blue, a dark purple, pinkish color, orange, a light gray, and I've got a dark gray. I'm going to have a black background, so I don't want to have anything black that I'm using. I want to have things that have a nice color. I want to use these colors in a number of different ways. So I want to have variations 
on these colors. I want to have these colors, but I want them to be a little lighter and a little darker for the, the work that I'm going to do. I'm going to go up so that I could see that it's going to fit and then it's going to work. Duplicate the slide, grab my colors. I'm going to start with my orange. I'm going to go into my next slide. I'm going to paste this in place. As I can see right away, this looks pretty bold. It looks really great. As I said, I want a lighter version of it and I want a darker. How do you get a lighter version? How do you get a darker? Fortunately, that's it's very easy. Copy this. I'm going to paste it three times. Okay. One, two, three. I'm going to set them right next to each other. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm first, I'm going to, I'm going to change this color from a shape of the orange. I'm going to change it to white, bring to the front and I'm going to set it right on top. I've got my base color. I've got my color that has a white back behind it. And I've got an my, another copy of that color with the black behind it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my transparency on these to 25 and 25. Now I've got a darker version of that color, a lighter version and the color itself. I need more than this in order to do my work. I need to get the hex number of these values so that I can op I can do something with them. In order to do that, I'm going to choose choose my lighter square is my palette. I'm going to go over to the fill. And I'm going to select the eyedropper so I can get the color that is. I'm going to go select it, eyedropper, and I'm going to choose that color. Okay, now that will be set. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to go to eyedropper. I'm going to choose it. Now, both of these are already set on the color that uh, that is that it is right so it's no longer that bright orange it's that actual color and what i can do now is i can go under more colors here and i now get the hex code for that color itself okay so i'm going to copy that out and i'm actually going to paste that inside of my slides so that as i go through this process i've got the color for each of the slides available to me and so i can easily create out my theme we're going to make this go really quick and we're going to now I've kind of already uh, I, I've created this layout for myself. I've got these all colors set up. I'm ready to get started with building out my palette. Once I've got those in place, I'm going to adjust my Power BI slide in order to do this. OK, so first, though, I'm going to go back to my original clean deck that I've got here. I'm going to hit control A. So I've got everything selected on here. I'm going to right click and save as picture and I'm going to save it into my background. Go back to my blah report and I'm going to start to add these things in. So I've got a new page and I'm going to choose on my canvas size. I'm going to go to a custom size. So it's right up here under page size. I'm going to be choosing my canvas settings. I want this to be a full widescreen long version. So in order to get that, all you need to do is go to your desktop, right click and go to display settings because I'm on the display I'm going to be using. Now that I've got this up, I can go and look at what my resolution is. I am 256 by 1440. That's the size I'm going to want to have for my display. So I'm going to go back over into my Power BI report and I'm going to say my height is going to be the larger number. So it's 2560 and my width is 1440. For my vertical alignment, I want it aligned at the top. So that it always comes in at the top. For my background, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna browse to that background slide that I had selected. Once you have it selected, you've gotta make sure, not only did you select it, but you choose fit, and that you set your transparency to 0%. Your settings should look like this for your canvas backgrounds. I can go over here, I can scroll and I can see that, yes, my visual is in place. It's exactly how I want it to be. I'm looking good here. The other thing I want to do is I want to, on my formatting on my page, I want to go in and I want to set the wallpaper. Right now I've got this background, it's white bars. Having a good background on any time you're using a visual like this is important because you're going to run into lots of situations, especially if you're using a longer visual that you'll need to control that. I'm going to go into my wallpaper. I'm going to select add and I'm going to select that file I downloaded. Click OK, choose fit, make sure my transparency is down to zero. I've got this in place. I've got this nice experience that I've got both tops and bottoms. I've got good looking visuals on the side. This is looking pretty good. Now, once it's in, I also want to make sure that I have uh, I've cho chosen my page view to actually be. I want my page view 
to be fit to wit and width and not to actual size. Now, when I when I view my report, it's gonna be take up my entire screen here. This is good. If I want, I can scroll it in and out like this, but notice that's gonna change from fit to width to actual size. Okay, so that was our, our first first part of transforming your report from this into this, right? Um, uh, come with me next time. I'm gonna relay the stuff out, talk about what other steps there are in this process. Thanks a lot, peace.